Okay, so I'm kind of an easily excitable person. There's little things that just make me really, really happy. Got home from work, and I find out that FedEx dropped off a special package for me. Don't know what that is. I'll tell you, it's worms. I got worms. Okay, so the best place to start is just talking about the worm tower itself. This is the Worm Factory 360. We ordered it off of Amazon several years ago uh, when we had our farm. We had a colony of several thousand red wigglers at that time. We discontinued it uh, when we left the farm and we are starting our vermicompost again. And the reason we're starting it again is because we did a fishing trip and we had some leftover red wigglers. So this colony of about 25 has been going for about a month and a half and as i remove the lid you can see that they've done a really excellent job of creating compost that's all that's doing that just a red wiggler composting worm we throw in our vegetable scraps cutoffs uh coffee, tea, just everything. Uh, and I'll leave a list in the description and I'll post uh, a picture of the do's and don'ts of what to feed your worms. But today we're excited because we get to add a thousand worms from Uncle Jim's uh, that we ordered off of Amazon. They arrived in the mail and we are gonna be adding a thousand worms and get this compost really going and rocking so today we're going to just be starting a new tray to add our worms to. We This will be our third tray in the tower. Uh, the Worm Factory 360 comes with four trays. You can actually order additional trays to keep it going up as your colony grows. Uh, I read that these red wigglers, they will double their population every 90 days. So if you start with 500 to 1,000 worms, it's not going to take long for that population to just explode and... Again, this is what I just read on this and what I've established and found out in the past. They eat just about their body weight a day in organic matter. So a thousand worms weighs approximately about a pound. So they eat about a pound of organic matter a day and create an amazingly rich, nutritious vermicompost, worm castings, which is worm poop. One of the delicacies that worms just love and otherwise you would just throw it in the trash is your coffee. So your spent coffee grounds, you just throw those right on top. The filters, the paper filters that you use as well, those go right there as far as a uh, cover. They're wet, they're moist. Worms like a nice, moist, damp environment. So that just helps uh, encourage that as well. And then as that breaks down, they eat that and they turn that into vermicompost as well. Anything out of your garden, like your strawberry cutoffs, again, more coffee grounds. We've got romaine in there. We've got some cucumbers. Uh, again, I'll leave a list in the description and I'll also post a picture of the things you can and can't add what worms really like and what they don't like because Virtually anything that is decaying organic matter, they will eat and they will love and they will eat a lot of it. So this is a great addition to any homestead, any farm. Uh, you can do this on small scales. You can do this on really large scales. But what better way to start than just with your kitchen scraps and less things you're throwing out. And the more things you're able to use as inputs into your garden and your yard to create healthier, rich, productive soil. <clears throat> so this is probably one of the more unique or strange unboxing videos, but we're going to unbox our thousand worms from Uncle Jim's and we're going to be seeing how many survive because they guarantee 100% survival. So we are going to see like I said, this is probably one of the weirdest unboxing videos out there. They give you a worm advisory. So they have been shipped in dry peat moss. If they seem small and scrawny, that's their normal. Uh, so they haven't had any food or water in about four days, according to that. 
to come in Uncle Jim's Worm Farm bag. That's a cool bag, though. Not that that's what I ordered, but. <laughs> All right. So Uncle Jim's Worms. Let's see what we got. Well, those are small and scrawny, and the pile is moving. So that's got to be a good sign. Oh, yeah. Everybody looks like they're wiggling around and moving well. Everybody looks nice and healthy. Like, like the sign said, they're small and scrawny. They're going to actually get quite a bit bigger than this. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to take these healthy new worms and add them to our vermicompost tower. As you can see, they are healthy. They're moving. I didn't see any as I was going through the pile without doing too much trauma to them individually. But I don't see any dead worms. Everybody's moving around good. A lot of activity. So we're going to be adding these to our vermicompost and letting them rock and roll and create some of those worm castings that are so prized among gardeners. So if you're starting from scratch, it's not too difficult to add a lot of shredded paper, grass clippings, some other organic matter, uh, kitchen scraps to get the colony established. They come with a lot of peat moss, so there's some bedding material coming with them as well. And we're gonna add, and I'll show you how we cover them, and we'll let them get to work. We're just gonna slowly just sprinkle these bad boys all over the place. All right. As you can see, we've got a lot of live, good, mo good mobility. I'm gonna spread those out kind of evenly in this tray. And we'll just take these damp coffee filters. I'm not going to say we're addicted to coffee in this house, but we do like our fair share of coffee. So these filters and coffee grounds are in uh, ready supply. And as the coffee filters dry out, I shred them and just add them back to the material and they help break it down. So that's how we establish our uh, colony. That's how we get a, uh, a thousand worms mixed in with our tower here. So we cover them up. They like cool, dark places. Um, what's great with the Worm Factory 360 is it's got this sticker on top that actually shows you the food list, uh, some bin management and uh, feedings and moisture control and temperature. Comes with some uh, additional uh, inputs that you can put in with the Worm Tower as it becomes uh, more established and healthier. Well, it's lunchtime. Well, we just ate our lunch, but the worms on day three are getting their lunch. So as you can see, there's some sh shredded carrots, some cut up romaine, some cucumber ends, my morning coffee, and some junk mail. Now while this doesn't look super appetizing for maybe your lunch, we are looking at a worm delicacy. And what would normally just go in your trash is now going to be created into some amazing nutrient dense vermicompost. All right, it's been three days since we added our thousand worms to our compost, and now we're going to see what kind of activity 
has been done. So the bedding on top is still pretty saturated, but all those vegetable scraps that we've added, they have gone to town and started to really break all that down. You can just see they are thick through here. A lot of the bedding material is already broke down. Nice, dark, rich organic matter there. And this is just the top tray. I'll show you the tray below it in just a second. But while I'm here, let's go ahead and feed them lunch, shall we? We're going to spread out our junk mail. Feed some romaine, some carrots, our cucumbers. And our morning coffee. Cover those back up. And let's see what the tray below this looks like, if I can do it without being too shaky. You see there's a lot of worm activity, and they have completely almost decimated the bin underneath. And that was full of bananas and coffee grounds and uh, again a ton of these coffee filters and they have turned that second bin almost completely into vermicompost. And the bottom bin were probably not too far from harvesting from the original 30 uh, night crawlers or European earthworms that we started with from our leftover bait. So after three days we can see how much activity is happening and how much they're composting just regular old kitchen scraps. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them below. Uh, we'll answer those as best we can. We just wanted to show you a nice easy way of establishing a worm colony or starting a vermicompost worm tower uh, to take care of some of those vegetable scraps, leftovers, those things that you would normally have just thrown out in the bin anyways. This is a way of starting a small scale compost to create that vermicompost that can go back in your garden, back in your flower beds, and stop filling up those landfills with things that we could really just take care of here in our own backyards. Thank you again, and we'll see you on our next video.